What if there are green screen colored chairs for streaming? Well, this one's a little interesting because it got kind of this see-through thing, mesh background, so that makes for a slightly interesting thing, but there probably are. I mean, you probably can't see it, but with my microphone, this is a green screen right here. This is a green felt to hide the arm. Bet you never noticed that, huh? That was recommended by Attila way back in the day to make it less distracting stuff in front of in front there. So I could put that on this side of the mic and you wouldn't even see the microphone. Of course, you'd also wouldn't see my chest, dude. You'd like see the game through me, which would be a little weird, but. Alrighty, that is two Kestrel C wins in a row. Let's make it three, my friends. Let's make it three. All right, dual lasers have been doing work. All right, the swallow. Let's go swallow our enemies. Only had mantis and they could swallow all the humans or something. Uh, we could just jump right into the nebula, nebulae here. Let's do that since we have uh, mind control or uh, clone bay. Floating head rand. Wear a green shirt. That's definitely something streamers have done before. No, oh, come on. Let's. If I do this. That's what I messed up last time. I didn't move my people in here quickly enough, so... This should be okay. You know what? I'm gonna vent this room and we know for sure that this will be okay because I'll leave the room. To fight in another room. Or this might just end my Lania's win this fight. Yeah, there it is. Good. Uh, floating head mode, yeah. You're not big enough a streamer to get better microphones or green screens and stuff like that. Well, what's funny about that, Pie Boy, is I actually... I haven't spent more... <laughs> I spent very little amount of money on this kind of stuff. This micro... I'm... Uh, the microphones I have, all but one of them, my dad has given to me because my dad collects microphones because he's an audiophile. He actually just sent me another microphone last week and a... some sort of mixer thing he wants me to try out. The, uh, green screen in the back is literally a green sheet I got on Amazon for probably 10 bucks. This little felt I got from, like, the... Just a store that sells crass for, like, probably 5 or 10 bucks. So you can you can get green screen stuff and get, get it pretty cheap. It's not too expensive to get some simple things like that. I'm running the same ship, same ship twice? I'm running the same ship until we lose. Scott Free, where have you been? I've been doing this for months. <laughs> Where you been? Oh, this is kind of scary. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to go for this first. And then I'm going to go for this. Save the green screen on the D and D stream. Oh, you uh, say saw. Yes. Yeah, because we're using Discord for camera to, for stuff there, you uh, you can actually see the green screen in action on, on that and on Shogi stream, which should be starting back up next month, I believe. So... You move in and vent the whole ship sometimes on these events because you're a monster. <laughs> eh, that's a that's kind of a simple way to do it. Just vent the entire ship. My worry about that is if they start in the clone bay and they kill the clone bay and event the entire ship, that's dangerous. That's quite dangerous, so. The Orion people from Star Trek would have a hard time streaming. The Orion people. Are they are they green? <laughs> Does Shogi ever play Shogi? If I knew what that meant, I would answer your question. Okay, we only need doges here. Hey, what's up, Dapper Rich? Can you claim the captain of the ship? Absolutely, I'll try to remember to do that after this fight. Damn. Is there a game called Shogi or something? Slug A is average, and Slug B would be like C or D tier, not F. Uh, oh, you're looking at my my tier list and you disagree. Well, I'm not surprised. I've had a lot of people disagree with my tier list, honestly. Um, I don't think Slug B should be higher. I would I would discuss Slug A and B maybe needing to be... Slug A and C needing to be higher. I, I do not agree that Slug B is too low. Slug B, I think, is one of the worst ships in the game. Literally no weapon and terrible boarding. And no way to heal your crew. Besides a damn heal bomb. What What is the redeeming quality of that ship? That's a pretty good deal. 
Three fuel and seven missiles is pretty good. I'm gonna take that. Uh, Shogi also in a show Japanese chess or the game of generals. Ah, okay. I got maybe that's where Shogi got his name. I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought it was a play on Shogun, or something. Slug B is bad, just not one of the worst. I completely disagree. <laughs> I disagree. What are the redeeming qualities of it? Tell me what makes it better than what you think would be worse than it. Uh, investigate. Can anybody tell me does Clone Bay protect you from this event? This is one of two events I can't ever keep straight. I think if they turn mad, Clone Bay doesn't protect you. Can anyone just help me remember so I don't have to look this up? Because I will look it up if I need to. I just can't remember. All right, I guess nobody knows. All right. You're looking, oh, you're looking right now? Okay. It's the prepare to board investigate. I can't remember if Clone Bay protects you from losing crew here or not. Chat is my wiki. Slug B versus Fed C. There's a fight. Fed C has Clone Bay to start, but suffers from Flardy. Yeah. I think this one is okay. Um. Uh, Okay, yes. Band of crew members waiting on the ship when you return, trying not to dwell. Okay, good. So, looks like I can do this one. All right. All right, we got the crew from it. Beautiful. Thank you for looking that up, Pie Boy. I appreciate that. All right, so I need to remember. Prepare to board and investigate. The event is called Refugee Ship. Refugee board and investigate. I just, I can't remember that, that one. There's that one and the one where... Everybody turns crazy, and I can't remember... I can't remember which one that is, because, uh... That's the one where... Clone Bay doesn't protect you. In your opinion, Rock A, no one can argue it isn't F tier. I actually could see that argument. Just because... Early, it's actually pretty strong. But, um... The fact that running out of missiles is such a big deal is why I, I I hate it so much. I actually feel like I'm biased against it more than some people might possibly be. Okay, all right. Zoltan C is so damned annoying too. Hate the layout. Yeah, Zoltan C is pretty darn bad. Wow, you're already back online? Yeah. God, this repair drone. Okay. Come on, can you please not dodge? There we go. Rocket has that fatal flaw potential, very swingy, yeah. Rocket swings into early boarding pretty well though. Yeah, and that might be one thing like like I could see that somebody would ha rate it higher than I do. They're like, oh, it's a great boarding ship. See, I wouldn't consider that because you don't start with boarding. And if you buy boarding, it's only two-person boarding. But I could kind of see that argument, honestly. You can never remember some FTL Quest 2. Reminds you of always having the Darkest Dungeon Wiki open for par proper curio interactions. Yeah. Um. All right, store. 50 scrap. Do I get the shields? Seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to get the shields now. Hope we can run into one or two ships without missiles, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. You always have a, a Dark Dungeon Wiki open? You do wish one of the ships had a three-person teleporter when you bought it, just for variety. <laughs> okay, he's running. I don't see a missile, which is great. We'll actually... <laughs> he's only got a single basic laser, okay. Uh, Pulling the pilot's going to be tough here, so I think I just have to shoot piloting. Which is my least favorite way of stopping them running. Especially since I get a repair drone. That fire starting is really helpful though. You also find stealth B is also up to here because with one bad fight where your weapons get hit, you just die. Yeah, I have it I have it low. I actually rate it a little bit higher than some people do because probably only for nostalgia reasons, because I used to love it. Back before I actually started playing hard mode, no pause. Hard mode, no pause, though. It's there's there, there's no denying that it's just it's inconsistent. It's too easy to get killed. Sec sector one. A one and a half person teleporter. That's right. 
Self is weaker to you because of streaking. Yeah, I mean, that's where it's really the weakest, and I can understand that. But, you know, my most popular video on YouTube is, you know, Double Glade being pre-ignited, I think, on Stealth B, so I kind of have a soft spot for it. Yeah. I kind of have a soft spot for it, even though I understand it's bad. I know what's bad, and I should feel bad. Oh, move. Uh, I should have moved him earlier. Uh, no surrender. All right, this fire is going to destroy him. Let's hope it doesn't destroy me too bad. Okay, that's not bad at all. There it is. Okay. Scooby dooby doo doo. Please don't spread into here, please. Good. Okay. So we gotta go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You don't streak. You just die on stealth B. Well, how how much have you played? On hard, you've done like 10 runs, got to Sector 4 once, Sector 2 the other times. You might need to try out different upgrade paths on it. Next Sector. Thank you for doing Next Sector game. That was generous of you. Because one of the things that I found for Stealth B is there are things you can do to increase your chances by doing strategies like the low... Um, what is it called? The low O2 strategy to make it so they're less likely to target your weapons. Things like upgrading weapon value point first and then or cloaking. You know, there are, there are different upgrade paths that I've found can help make the run more doable. Holo told you about the low O2. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do. And I assume Holo being the, now the world record holder. Damn. Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess every time he rolls that ship, he does that. That would be my guess. Wow, these dodges, though. Okay. Weirdly enough, Mantis B is almost as swingy as Stealth B for you. Does seem to get solar flares in your O2 Sector 1. He's dodged every Ion Stunner and then no dual laser shots. Okay. And I'm kind of venting my own dudes right now. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, good. You get cloaking three weapon buffer to go for hacking into shields. I often don't get the... Damn it, man. Come on with these... What are these dodges? He's going to get out because of these fucking dodges, isn't he? Oh, thank God. That was insane. That guy dodged... I think, like, exactly 33% of my shots or something like that. That was ridiculous. Um... Mantis B is as swingy as you. I can understand that. And that's kind of another thing where I'm probably biased because I love four-man Mantis boarding so much. I probably have Mantis B maybe higher than I should. But I don't know. I haven't gotten to it on my tier list, so I don't know how consistent it is for me. One of the ships you haven't won on is Mantis A. You always seem to have a tough time with sectors three through four. Really? Mantis A? That one's great just because its early boarding is so strong because Small Bomb is such a good... Boarding support weapon. All right. Well, this this store is pretty crap. Unless I just happen to have 150 scrap for this. I'm actually thinking about buying the NG. Well, there's another store, but I have to dive for it. Rand, do you know the game Neo Scavenger? It is a good game. I should stream it. Oh <laughs> no! You're gonna give me another game. I still gotta play freaking Crying Sons. Tell me later. Tell me in like a month or two. <laughs> I just, I can't take any more games that I need to play. NG pretty much pays for itself. I'm going to do this. I usually don't spend scrap on crew, but... Early NG I feel like is worth it. There's no weapon upgrade to get. Hopefully and blue NG will give me a blue option that might help. For that. You haven't done... Oh, you haven't done Mantis A on hard with pause yet. Why, wow, you're playing hard mode no pause and you haven't even... Almost, oh, that's crazy. Some of you people jump into hard mode no pause earlier. You blow my mind. I didn't start playing hard mode no pause till... After I'd beat every ship on hard mode with pause. 
and played the game a lot more. Like, I don't understand just jumping into hard mode, no pause. I meant to say a strong one of those ships getting third shield earlier is underrated. Have I played Crying Suns, Hades, Dead Cells? <laughs> Never heard of those games. Wow. Wow, these dodges. You went into hard mode, no pause after one run on normal. You are crazy, MLG. Are you an actual ML Major League gamer? Because it sounds like it. Can I... Can I... What are these dodges on these ships? I just don't understand. Alright, I don't think this guy's running, at least. Your opinion, Mantis B is like Stealth B early on. I disagree. Mantis B has the best starting defense apart from Zoltan's ships in the game. That's why I like it so much. Even though... Even though the defense drone fails a lot against missiles, at least it has a defense drone to stop missiles early on. And it has two shields. So defensively, it's so strong. It's the only ship in the game where starting systems theoretically should stop any damage you run into Sector 1. Except like a Burst Laser 2 plus missile or something like that. Zoltan shield ships will eventually get shot through, but two shields and defense drone to start with is just such a good defensive setup. The problem with Man to say is the fact that you just can't, you know, kill auto scouts. Um, or uh, deal with Zoltan shield ships, you know? There, there are counters to it, so... But defensively, it's just so strong. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. I love my four-man Mantis boarding, but starting with two shields is the only ship in the game that does that. And that... that Put it higher on my tier list. Because if nothing else, that saves me 50 scrap and upgrades early on. What about stealth ships? Um, stealth A is, I think, my second... Is the second highest ship I put on my tier list. I think it's just so good with... Starting with cloaking, one of the two best systems in the game, and then just a really, really, really insanely strong weapon set up to start out is just really good. And Stealth C, I actually rated pretty highly, but we already played Stealth C, so... I'm wondering if I want to put it a little too high. You're just crazy unlucky with solar flares. Okay. In your opinion, the issue with Mantis B is auto ships resulting ship in Sun is just death. Well, I don't say... I wouldn't say it's just death. You just can't kill them. So it means you... You gotta treat those as empty jumps. Alright, well I got an NG. Let's go NG sector. I don't, I get salty and be like, why won't you just let me board you and kill you? But you got to kind of, kind of think of it is, well, if they don't do damage to me, then at least, you know, it was just like another empty jump. Just do a no pause as intended run of all ships. No pause and intended all ships. Okay, I've done as intended. I've done hard mode, no pause on every ship. I don't know about putting those two together. Can I dodge? Nope. Can I dodge? Nope. Okay. Alright, zero dodges for me still. Okay, now we can't... Uh, we can still take damage. Unless this comes up in time. Okay, good, we're good. Uh, I start with level one engine, solar flare hits you, and if it's a bad spot, two mantis can't fix it. Well, that's true. But there's, there's like, I mean, there, every ship has something that counters it. It's one of the reasons why FTL's good. If you name one thing that counters that ship and say the ship's bad because of that one thing, well, what ship is good in your opinion? Zoltan A because it counters everything? I mean, um, Damn it, man. Can I get a frickin' dodge? God damn it. You! You have all the dodges! What the hell, game? I need to let this go first. I'm... Chatting too much and... Hashtag blame chat. There it is. Uh, let's hope your lack of dodges and their crazy dodges is early will exhaust their good RNG for the rest of the run. That's what I'm hoping for. Can't you kill Auto Scout with boarding drone? Yes! So that's actually a thing to keep in mind. You actually can kill auto scouts with uh, Mantis B with the boarding drone if you don't get unlucky with the room uh, layout and where he lands. 
It's still not good because it takes forever, but it's not an exact counter. If it goes in piling on auto slots, no, only on a certain layout because there are layouts where all five rooms are disconnected. So MLG, MLG please don't make sweeping state statements. You gotta, you gotta take in all, uh, all possibilities there. What are these crap weapons, by the way? Rich bomb is so slow. I don't want to invest in that. This is NGSec. We'll find another store. Let's hope we find something with hacking or a weapon that's not terrible. <laughs> don't blame us. I blame you, chat. <laughs> I blame you. Okay, it's this quest. Okay. You said on auto assaults with drones. The ones with drones. Now, I don't know this for sure, but are auto assaults always the ones with the layout with separated rooms? I don't know that that's the case. Because the ones I'm talking about are the ones that the rooms are disconnected and hits in piloting. I don't know if that's a certain class of ship that has a certain layout, honestly. Are you sure about that? I didn't I didn't know that class types had certain layouts. Auto scouts and surveyors are always connected. Okay, well that I didn't know. There we go. Zero damage fight is good. That's mind-blowing, if true. Well, I mean, I never look at the class of the ship. It's just not something I think about. So, that is that is an interesting factoid to learn. All right, I don't have anything to sell. But I do just need to find... Uh, man, going, going to the store now is actually an inefficient route. So, I need to be 8, 7. So, I need to be here in 6. Is there any way to do that? Five, six, seven, eight. Trying to be here in a five. Five, four, three, two, one. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do that. There's auto assaults, auto scouts. Where are the Autobots? Shouldn't they be out here too? <laughs> Autobots assemble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Roll out. No, that's a, that was Avengers. I got Avengers and Autobots mixed up. Oh, I always do that. Actually, I've never done that before, but... Autobots, assemble and roll out at the same time. You, sir, have a missile. What about Autobonds? <laughs> they just drive really fast. Of course, you hit my missile or my weapons, and of course, your missile stayed online. Why wouldn't it be the worst possible thing to happen to us? Frickin' twice in a row, you sh sh stupid game. All right, we'll have a double goddamn fire in your weapons room, d dude. I wonder if I could crew kill this with these guys being this low health. This guy's going to run, and then this guy, I think, will want to go repair that. Um, or this girl. Huh. Okay. If he gets stunned... Ugh. Never mind. Probably no crew kill. Uh, if I let the fire spread... Okay, I think we might be able to get the... Fire kill. Fire kill? Crew kill. Even boarding isolated piloting will kill the ship eventually. No, it won't, Boo, because there will be a breach in that isolated pilot piloting, and a breach in an auto scout's room means it'll never repair. So, sadly, you are incorrect about that. This will be a bio kill. We just have to wait. Because he's, he's got four health and only three rooms. Unless fires go out, and then O2 goes out in a really weird order, This we have this. So... <sighs> but running means... Okay. This guy dies and we will be able to do it. I have to do it. Time it right, though. Got it. Nice. Because I had to do it before the O2 burned down and died. All right. Well, it's a crap weapon, but it's a free weapon. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go find a good weapon or hacking. Yeah, I'll take that deal. We don't 
we are pretty good on consumables right now. A uh, power upgrade that does not cost scrap is actually very good for us right now. We really need an offensive upgrade from this store. That's the main thing we're looking for. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. This guy can't do damage to us, so... As long as he doesn't run, we're fine. Nicely done, thank you. Thankfully, the timing worked out. If he had level 202, it would have been fine. The fact that he had level 1... I, the, the reason I had to time that well is because I needed to do two, two damage to the top guy because he had 18 health without killing his other crew. So it worked out. Yeah, kill Clone Bay. I would need a fire to get crew kill here. So no crew kill here. Got a pre-ignited flak 2 times 2. Flak 1, zero damage. Throw a flagship kill yesterday. Flakening can be pure sex sometimes. So I wouldn't call that a flakening because it's two flak 2s, but it's pretty nice. All right, free repair. I'll take that. I mean, as nice as pre-ignited flak twos are, I would take automated reloaded flak automated reloaded flak ones every day. But that's still a really good build you had. Okay, what do we got, store? Nothing but frickin' ions and frickin' missiles, man. Can we just go double ions again this time? That's what we did our first run of the day. I mean, I do have 23 missiles, but Breach is freaking 22 seconds. So slow. There's a three-weapon slot ship, so you think optimized? Yeah, I guess I guess that's for a three-weapon slot system the most flak you can get. Well, I mean... Better than this crap, so... We'll do it. I don't like it, but we'll do it. It's no free halberd beam sector one like we had last time. We'd have to dive to get that store. That's probably the store with all the flax and heavy lasers in it. All right. Ions, accept their offer of free stuff. Firebomb for crew kills. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that's the way I'm going to go with it. Pretty sure I haven't dodged a single uh, missile this run yet. <laughs> Turn auto fire here on. And he's running. Of course he is. Okay, thank you for not at least putting the missile online. I do appreciate that. Level 3 piloting. Level 2 piloting. Are you freaking kidding me? Kill him. He's going to get out. Level 2 piloting and freaking shit ton of dodges, man. F you, FTL. That's so stupid. <sighs> he dodged when I, after I hit his piloting. So dumb. FTL is my personal soup Nazi. No dodges for me, that's right. And all the dodges for that damn guy. Wow. Well, I'm going Mantis for sure, right? Ugh, a bunch of Mantis on my... Ship is scary, but do I want to do the upgrade for the Kazak? Very red map, yes. There's always cloaking and flax in unvisited stores. There always is. And long range scanners every single time. Okay. So there is the option of this plus this as an upgrade. For those who are wondering why I would go for level 2 clone bay and level 3 sensors, this is the way you get the Kazakh quest completed when you don't have teleport. You still have to get a crew kill, but if you have level 3 sensors and level 2 clone bay or heal bay, you can actually successfully do that. If I do that, I'm still pretty susceptible to like a bunch of Mantis borders wrecking us. The thing is, Kazak Quest is one of the best reward rewarding quests in the game. Yeah, I, with our weapon system, there's a decent chance we could get a crew kill. I'm gonna do that. If I saw a store, I might not have done that. But since I didn't see a store... We're gonna hope we actually get the Kazak Quest and don't die. 
boy. That's nice. Uh, what's not nice is if you have a defense 2 drone. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. He can't do damage to us, so this is fine. So what we do is... Hope he doesn't dodge everything. These time out pretty decently well. How do I how do I time this? How do I time this? I need I need the ion and the ion stunner to fire at the same time, and then I need to fire the dual lasers after. Oh, how do I get through this guy? Well, you know what? They all fire fast enough. I'm just leave it on auto fire and see if we just happen to get through at some point. I don't know that two ion... Well... Let's try this. So they all hit at the same time. I just don't know. Mechanic Mantis must have been running f from forced training. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just let this run. If we never hit it, I'll start trying to redo the timing somehow. Technically, you let the game run for an hour and destroy all drones. Well, we we were patient on a ship like like this on Monday, and we eventually got through. I don't like being patient, but we'll see. We'll just have to see. Defense two is the bane of double ion builds, though. Another reason why I much much rather have found like a flak or burst laser two or a hacking or something at the store. You want to spend twenty minutes for a bio kill on Slug C. Now it's time for fireside chats with Ran. That's right. It won't take that long, pie boy. <laughs> I don't know. Two shields and defense drone mark two is it's. Hey, okay, we shot down one drone. Just probably like four more to go. Is there anything I can do to make this better? There, it's back up. Okay, well, we did get two shots on the ion, so this shot might get through. We need him not to dodge half of our shots, too. That's the other freaking issue. He's dodging 50% of our folly as well. Clone Bay hack and mind control is what you did for 20 minutes for a bio kill and slug C. Wow. You're saying it won't take as long as an hour. Yeah, well, if it took an hour, I wouldn't wait that long. I will probably wait like five minutes, and if it doesn't look like we're making progress, I'll probably move on. I don't want to, though, because we're immune to him hurting us, so we should just be patient until we get the scrap, because we need it. Can I time the shots? How would you recommend I do it? For this to work, we need one ion and both dual laser shots to hit. Which requires him to only shoot one shot down. That's the issue. We have four shots. We need two to get through. And we need all of them to hit and him to not. Hey, there we go. We got one. There we go. He's also got NGs to repair, which makes it even worse. I tell you, he's dodging goddamn 50% of my shots. Yeah, I timed that one wrong. Use mind control to constantly take down oxygen until the crew on H one HP died of suffocation. Okay. Please explode! Please explode! Please explode! Yes. Okay. Could you not? Dodge 50% of my shots, man. Ugh. Okay, all right. Get wrecked. All right, there we go. All right, now we should have this if I can just keep the drone control offline. Okay. Well, if nothing else, we could probably got some good training on this fight. 
he starts running, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, good. The dodges are real? Yeah, his dodges were insane. There it is. We got there. Alright, we did it. it! Took three or four minutes, but we got there. Get wrecked, bro. 23 scrap. Definitely worth. Okay, um, do we want to get like level 2 doors to deal with Mantis boarding? No, we need to save up scrap to get something better than these weapons. If we get Kazak quest, we need to get the crew kill. Hope he doesn't have a missile. Okay, this is not Kazak. He has a missile though. <laughs> the level 3 sensors let us see all their systems, which is always a funky thing I'm not used to. So for you. Why is his missile already back online? Did he turn it off and then immediately turn it back on? I hate it when they do that shit. God, that's so annoying. It's like, yes, the missile's offline. Just kidding. No, we, we had it online. We just, we were just psyching you out. Unfreaking believable, man. He swapped a four timer, even went halfway. Oh. Yeah, screw your, screw your damn missiles. Your FTL missiles. Oh, I might be able to crew kill this. hit on you. Got it. I think I got the crew kill. Come on, Ion. Come on. Yeah! That took some micro. I had to deactivate dual laser before the second shot went off. Nice. Nice. Pause? I didn't pause. What are you talking about? When did I pause? Okay. There we go. There's a little practice for a crew kill right there. Oh god, okay. Double missiles. Well, at least he doesn't have shields. Okay, thank you for mind controlling the worst guy. Oh, yes, we got the. I cannot believe that missile went offline. Yes! Okay. Not you. Mantis paused for a missile switch. Oh, he paused. The Mantis paused. Okay. <laughs> I never considered the AI pausing. Rather be lucky than good any day. Uh, sure. Why not both? The other reason I chose to go to Mantis Sector, apart from chance for Mantis uh, Kazak opportunity, is... Mantis ships are often weak, and our weapons are bad, so their defense and offense is usually weaker because they are... It's okay, we have Kazak. Um, focused on boarding, so... Alright, he's got heal bay, which makes us a little easier. Okay, alright. What kind of crew you got? Three Mantis, okay. Okay. The one shot on his weapons, so I can guarantee we take, take no damage. Now what we do is we keep his shields all the way down, get him low, and when this person goes back, we shoot him in the heel bay. To get it offline and hopefully start a fire. Alright. Uh, this is going to be tough. God, I need a f I need a fire in here. Uh, let's get ion stunner. Uh, I need to keep his shields down. This actually times out well with him for him. Uh. 
Oh man, how do I get the crew kill? I need a fire. Damn it. I can only do one more shot, and if his heal bay comes online, we're screwed. I can't. I can't do it, I don't think. Uh, if he boards me, maybe. I need him to board. No, they're not running, because Ak never runs, I don't think. Ah, level 2 heal bay. Which, level 2 heal bay would mean I need to kill him before his teleporter comes back up. I don't think there's a way to do it. This is the Kazakh fight, yes. He's not gonna board me? Nope, then I can't. I can't. I can't do it. God, this sucks, man. You can run and try again. Can you really? No, no, I can't. That does not a pause, by the way. Oh, God damn it. I get all my fires when I don't want them. This time I get no fires when I need them. If they have three crew and you kill the first, they don't board again. Then how? We, we basically needed a fire. I mean, if I shot the O2... Maybe there was a way with keeping O2 down forever, but with two ions, if he had level 2 O2, that wouldn't have worked. I don't know what his level 2 O2, or what levels O2 was. Oh, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Alright, good weapon. Really good weapon. This, sell an ion, get hacking, I think. I think I actually want the... Which Ion do I prefer here? And crew kills with Ion. Cascade is so hard in Kestrel C. You had the same exact setup last night, yeah. Shoot O2, then shields, and use the Ion to swap between. <sighs> yeah, maybe. The problem was he had a level 2 heal bay to go with it, Nietzsche. Level 2 heal bay... Made that uh, next to impossible without us starting a fire. If he didn't have level 2 heal bay, maybe. But I just think that we weren't going to make that happen. I'm going to sell this one. There's slightly more stuff. Okay. Um, so we got hacking. We have... That's like a really big weapon upgrade. So even though we didn't get Kazakh, we still we still looking pretty, pretty darn strong. Yeah, I'm blast is quicker. That's the reason I kept it. Use the laser to finish, then going in, in heal bay. If I had from the very beginning... I owned his shield and then shot his O2. My issue with that is I didn't... I would have taken damage almost guaranteed. I don't know that taking a whole bunch of damage just to try to get the Gazak quest is worth it. I took two damage even taking out his weapon, so... Just trying to do my best to make it happen without... You know... Taking a whole bunch of damage. Kazak is great, but I don't know that getting down to like, you know, 10 health or something uh, is worth Kazak quest. If I had the heavy laser, I bet I could have made it happen, because that's a good chance of starting fires, but we had two ions that were not good enough. Hopefully I'll get more free crew. It's not, it's not really Kazak that I care about, boo. Kazak is awesome. Uh, it's like my favorite crew. But it's the quest, because it's the high rewards and the free weapon that you get from successfully completing it, so. I already have a Mantis. Yeah, take my missiles and give me that scrappage. Love it. Um, we're going to Sector 4. I'm going to not upgrade, but I'm probably going to get level 2 hacking here. And they're running. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. You get to dodge fucking 100% of my shots. That's, that's perfectly fair and balanced. 
At least we got to dodge something. What the hell are these dodges, man? The actual fuck? Get that shit out of here, man. The hell? That guy just dodged about... I would love somebody to go count the shots on that jump. I'm pretty sure that was over 70% of my shots dodged. Jesus Christ, man. That is bullshit. That is just absolute BS. He dodged 100% of our first volley. Second volley, I think about 60%. God damn, I am salty. That's bullshit. That amount of dodges... While running away, 100% bullshit. Ah, uh, Exit Beacon could be a store. Weapon tier list is scuffed too. Why is Iron Blast 1 in D tier? It's not great, but once... Oh, well, MLG. Uh, how about you make a tier list so I can come make fun of your tier list too? Oh, wow, he dodged all my shit. I'm so surprised. Okay, we got his missile offline. I mean, you can disagree with it, but calling it scuffed, that's rude. Watch, yeah, watch the video, and, uh, and I discuss the things. Every ion weapon, I put a tier lower because they do zero damage. That's the reason. And I'm salty right now, and I'm probably taking it out on you. I apologize, but still. Come on, give me a break. Maybe it should be higher, but uh, the two the two best ions, uh, in my opinion, I think the highest I put them was B or C tier. Nice, double reward. Um, but I put all ions down a tier from where I think they should actually be. So if I put it in D tier... Then I actually think it's C tier, but I put it down one tier because I think ions are bad. Everything is scuffed. Cool. Great. Great. Glad to hear your opinion. Yeah. Part of the, a big part of my tier list, and I really recommend you watching the video where I made it before you diss me more, is because I was ready... I, Rating weapons in FTL, how are you how are you gonna have a a benchmark? You're gonna rate it for the entire run, for early game, for late game, for sector four? How, what are you gonna do? So I chose against the boss as my marker. And then I said, how good is each weapon against the boss at full potential? So, yes, it makes more sense. Please watch the video before you talk more crap about it. I would appreciate that. Um Okay. And I'm, again, I'm salty. I apologize for the salt, but, you know, that's kind of what I do here. Good dodge. Rate it based on if it's a flak one or not. Yeah, and it's not, so it's lower, five tiers lower. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I get so much stuff from people saying, like... Their opinions on FTL are right and mine are wrong, and when people say it, it's like, come on. Come on, really? Saying somebody else's opinion is scuffed is like... Saying, you don't like burgers? Well, you're stupid. Everybody likes burgers, but I don't like them. Well, then your opinion's wrong. I mean, come on. <laughs> What's up, Rudy Van Winkler? This is the Salt 118 channel, that's right. Backup DNA bank, so good for me to sell. Oh, I should have level two shields. I mean, not level two shield, level two hacking. As a misplay, I don't have it already. I forgot to do this. Come on, hit. Damn it. Oh, and only the goddamn missile stays online. Don't hit my weapons. Okay, I didn't hit my weapons at least. There. At least this guy has dodged very little, so that's good. Come on in so I can kill you.
I mean, I guess the thing about a streamer is you gotta have thick skin because people gonna tell you're wrong all the time, but it doesn't mean I can't, you know, dig right back into it and say, well, you know what I think of your opinion? It's also wrong. Uh, there are always two opinions, mine and the wrong one. That's right. Everybody except me is wrong. Yeah, it's a very opinion-based thing, so, I mean... I shouldn't get mad that your opinion is different than mine, but it's 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 th it's the way that you present your opinion. Saying something scuffed, I feel like is a pretty um mean way of saying that you disagree with somebody, but I don't know exactly what scuffed means. Sounds pretty derogatory though. Uh something something opinions are like a-holes, that's right. One of the great things about your tier list is being able in this fashion to test it. I think I've been mostly spot on. The Zoltan Shields may drag them up a bit, but generally it seems pretty accurate. Um, I mean, there, 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 are, there are things you can argue on my tier list for sure, and I understand that some people disagree with it. You should have said in your opinion, yeah. In your opinion, my, my tier list is scuffed. So, glad to hear it. I don't think I've seen... I've only seen one other weapon tier list. Maybe two others. I, I uh, linked one in my FTL for Beginners video. Great, free borders. Oh my god. Okay, alright. I should be able to deal with this. Um, so there's not just a ton of tier lists out there from what I've seen. And that was my first attempt at one, so I, I pretty much stand by it, honestly. Okay, let's get out. Uh, we have eight jumps if we go through the nebula. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So I want to get one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Uh, the sort of opinion that's wrong is like, in my opinion, Flak 2 charges faster than Flak 1. Yeah, well, I mean, that's stating... The uh, a f stating a, a fact like it's an opinion, but that's like that's something different, but yeah Chat stop making Rand tilt. Yes, please stop making me tilt Okay, all right now we go for piloting It's hashtag blame chats fault There we go Can we doge? All right, at least didn't hit my weapons good Urban Dictionary for Scuffed. All right, let's find out what Scuffed means. Bootleg or sh shit product. Yeah, so that sounds pretty derogatory. So saying my tier list is a shit product. I take offense at that, for sure. Uh, in your opinion, the day before Thanksgiving has the most people traveling in the U.S. In your opinion, it is weird. Okay. Is the only reason it's weird, weird is because I have Ion Blast Mark 1 at the bottom? Because that seems a very strange thing to, uh, to assert. Damn, I really do want to store right now. You meant weird, not shit. Well, okay, that's a little better, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can skip out on getting max jumps and get a store. I still got the quest. It's a little more wasteful fuel-wise. I think I think the fact that we have a good amount of scrap, something to sell, and stuff that I'd like to get from a store, like cloaking would be amazing, means I take the slightly less efficient route here. Because I don't think Rebel were going to find a second store up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the way we're going to go here. So less efficient, less jumps, but store, I think, makes this a better better option you can use scuff like having four flame is stuck scuffed I don't sure I'll take your word for how you can use scuffed I've never really used the term so I can't really judge the term other than how I've seen it presented so but you say you you consider it being like weird so that's cool you can Absolutely think my uh, my tier list is weird. You are perfectly welcome to have that opinion. What other things you take issue with? Because if that's the only issue you take, I, again, find that very surprising. 
because the top tier on those on my weapons list is very close to what a lot of others well the other tier list that i've seen i mean flak one halberd beam what do you not like on that list Uh, you did not know that was for flagship. Okay, so do you no longer think it's weird? Why am I even asking? Do I even care <laughs> how you feel about it? I don't know if I fear, care. Guess I'm just having a conversation. Riri, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, you find the top end fine, but you find the bottom weird. Well, you know, bottom, I don't care. You can disagree with the bottom of my tier list all you want. If you're making a tier list, what do people care about? What's best, not what's worth. So you get worst, you can you can disagree with the bottom. You can disagree with the bottom of the tier list, that's fine. Backup battery, mind control. Okay. I really wanted cloaking. No cloaking. Um two, three, four. Alright, so 100 percent we're getting mind control. Yeah, I'm gonna do this in repair. Backup battery's great. What mods am I running? Uh, type exclamation, exclamation point mods, that'll show you. Okay, I have the mind control counter now. You and the kids watched Naked Gun today and 10 year old Polish Frank Frenick knew the beaver reference. Kids today, huh? Ha ha ha. Uh, I don't know if I know the beaver reference. I haven't watched Naked Gun that much. I assume I have a clue what, what it would be referencing in a Naked Gun movie, but, uh, if you're, if you allow your kids to watch my stream, I'm not probably surprised by <laughs> them getting some adult references. Nice beaver, thanks. I had it stuffed yesterday. Ah, your kids actually got that. How old is she? 10? <laughs> I don't want to question your parenting, but uh, you might want to take another look at your parenting. <laughs> I mean, Stefan didn't, and you explained it. Really? You have a very different parenting style than I grew up with. That's for damn sure. That's really funny. That's funny. Well, big giant missile right after I repaired. Those have both gotten through. I would have gone after a weapon hack, but... Okay, at least it didn't hit my weapons. Hmm, didn't do that perfectly. Of course, I also grew up in a very very I've talked about this before we'll say religious household so sex was something that was never discussed ever kids today have phones there's always one kid who has total access that scares the bejesus out of you <laughs> yeah yeah it's true when I was a kid the internet was barely a thing so alright I'll take a free reactor upgrade alright so we're looking for cloaking now Okay. Eight-year-old kids have phones. At eight, you had toy cars. Yeah. Uh, so that's a Sector 5 abandoned. Oh, that's scary. Oh, these are both really scary, man. These are probably the two worst choices. Because if Zoltan Homeworlds, at least we'd have a chance for Zoltan Shield. But Zoltan Control is just... Here, have some freaking free Zoltan Borders, man. Uh, I have mind control counter at least to Zoltan free borders, so I think this is the better option. You're more scared of Lanius bombers than anything? Yeah, me too. I think that's scary. My Lanius might help against Lanius borders. Uh, I don't think it's enough because they're boarding me with two Lanius and mind control. One Lanius and mind control is just less. So. Mind control doesn't help against Lanius borders that much when they already have mind control, so... It's basically just a counter. So I disagree that 
the mind control will help enough. It will help, but I don't think it helps enough. Nice. I mean, abandoned sectors to many people are the worst sector in the game, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it slightly safer here. You think you would have gotten Lanius in that situation? You don't like Zoltan sectors mid to late game? Me neither, but you really think Zoltans are scarier than Lanius? Well, let's think of the worst outcome. The worst outcome is um, Lanius bombers. Are those scarier than Zoltan bordering police? I feel like because I have mind control, I can deal with Lanius uh, Zoltan border police better than I can deal with Lanius bombers. You think they're about the same? From Farb stream though, you do like to say no to Zoltans. You usually go to the banner sectors when you're over a, over a run and want to die as catastrophically as possible. Well, we're streaking, so I'm not to that point yet. So, uh, hopefully I will you keep from that happening. You've lost more to Lanius Bombers than Zoltan Bombers. Again, they're both bad, so... I think there's good... Good arguments for either way. Oh, boy. What weapons do you have online? All of them, okay. Where are they? They're in my backup battery. Ah, oh, it's too late. Beautiful. Okay, at least we get the weapons offline. One damage from boarding is... It's definitely not the worst thing in the world. I actually have mind control here if I want to. Okay, good, he just left. Oh, god damn it. I didn't even see that one back online. Crap, all up. Fuck you, game. Got three shields. I can't do anything to him. That's a good dodge, though. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? I can't find... Where Where are they? Okay, I'm out. I'm out of this goddamn fight. Fuck are they? Where's my hacking? There he is. God damn it. I'm not taking missiles from this guy who's got 18 goddamn power and a half power nebula. I could not freaking find him, man. It was driving me crazy while trying to dodge goddamn missiles. Ugh. Freaking hell. No, I did not tell you to move there. You like the risk-reward for Lanius, too, but you get that it's not everyone's choice. Well, I think... I think Zoltan is the safer choice, and if you're playing hard mode, no pause, and you're shrieking, you're usually going to take the safer choice. At least that would be my argument. Lanius sectors could also be fine if there are no bombers. Yeah, that's a really big risk you're taking. To hope you can get a Lanius sector that's got zero bombers in it. But if you want to chance that on your hard mode no pause streaks, go for it. Those are the fights you explain why you're too chicken to play no pause. Kill yourselves, please. Lasers offline. And the fire's great. Oof, almost hit that. You don't even have every ship unlocked? Why the hell are you playing? Are you playing Harbour No Pause or no? Maybe you're not. Okay. You probably aren't then. I would assume you're not playing Harbour No Pause. Please tell me you're not playing Harbour No Pause. That make me feel really bad about my progress in this game. You're playing with boss. Okay, good. Good. Whew, I don't feel as bad about myself. That people who have barely played every ship are not... already playing on a harder difficulty than I am. Can I possibly get this crew kill? Eh, I don't think so. No. Yeah, I took out the clone bay. I just heavy leader does too much damage. <laughs> the fires were good, but 131 scrap. This would not sell for enough to get cloaking. <sighs> would I sell an ion blast for cloaking? 
Hmm. I think I have to look for another store. Shield upgrade. I'm going for cloaking is what I'm going for. If the store had cloaking, anti-drone sells for like 15. I think I'd be like four scraps short. Had to mind control other crew to make them fight, maybe. You would not really carry the way at that point. Well, with the fires going, I don't think I could mind control them to get them to fight each other because they will only fight each other if you mind control somebody in a room that's damaged but not dead and they, neither of the people were in the rooms that met that criteria. So I'm pretty sure I couldn't get a crew kill there before their ship burned down anyway. So Sells for 17. That's still three scraps short. Ion Blast... Even Ion Blast by itself wouldn't be enough. I'd have to sell both of these to get cloaking. Which means I'd have two weapon power. They're two good weapons. <sighs> well, that's just assuming cloaking's here. Let's check. What if store has flak? That's a good... You, you make a good point. You, sir. You make a good point. Okay. Well, it does not have flak. Hmm. So small bomb, I get one more power, and I'd have small bomb plus small bomb plus ion blast. Charge laser, I'd sell the sell the ion blast and get five shots with hacking. This doesn't have anything amazing, but it has some decent stuff. Small bomb's pretty good, and charge laser's okay. We got some mid tier stuff here, and I kind of could use mid tier for some upgrades right now. Question is if I want small bomb or charge laser. Charge ion, I don't like that much. Yeah, I'm gonna be repairing in fuels, fuel as well. But we need to we need to get our offense upgraded first. You take the small bomb. They're both pretty good choices. This is slightly cheaper. Slightly cheaper does help right now. Um, what I like about charge laser is that's two extra shots to go with our hacking to get through shield so we can do more damage during hacking. This is better when hacking's not up. Yeah, we have plenty of missiles too. I think we do this. This. And if the next door has cloaking, we just say, oh well. They don't like to say, but that's, that's what we most likely will have to have to do. We say F-U-F-T-L, that's right. Oh god, free borders. Oh god, lots of missiles. I'm hacking weapons. Because I can do this now. And that gets rid of all shields if he if we hit. God damn you, Liftiel. I didn't bench you. Okay. Alright, only one one damage missile. Could have been worse. Okay, we didn't lose any crew. Uh, is this a crew kill? If I lock you in there, this might actually be a crew kill. Yeah. So now what we do is we wait till he goes to the weapons here, let him in, and he should burn to death before he can get through the room, uh, through the door. Roasted mantis, that's right. Let's go repair that. I don't want to mind control him because if he does an extra damage, stuff burning down. <laughs> the ship might still burn down before he moves in there. Uh, I could bomb him. Takes two bombs. Man, yeah, it takes two. Um, okay, one shot will do it. This will do it. Got it. All right, we got there. All right, we are in a mantis sector, so let us... Uh, hey, and we got the ship kill. Let's go ahead and vent some dudes here.
Over 30k again on a streak? Oh, yeah, your, your cookies. You're on a streak. You're doing hard mode no pause streak too. Nice. A gambling streak. All right. Yeah, that never goes bad. There's totally not movies about people who are addicted to gambling and everything goes bad. Uh, Doc Try Rescue Survivors. Ooh, Pilot Train Slugman, eh? Okay. Put you on sensors, human. 30k FTL streak. 30,000 wins in a row. <laughs> wow. That's, that's impressive. We're missing our silly device. Oh, you're right, we are. All right. So... So with this strange four one power weapon system, what do we prefer to hack? Shields or weapons? If there's missiles, 100% be weapons with this big giant laser. What do I prefer? That was quite the slugman to get. The perfect slugman. Gambling addiction only happens in movies, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so if we hack weapons, we bomb shields and eye on them. If those both hit, he has no shield. So I guess, I guess it's safer to do this. Kill your friend, please. This. Okay, stop that bomb from going through. I did not mean to move that human there. Okay. All right, well, the first volley wasn't dodged, so we'll be happy about that. His weapons are slowly burning. Good doges. That is a lot of fires. How are we starting so many fires? Damn it, I was late on that. Heavy laser, I guess. Is that crew kill? I think that is a crew kill. Oh man, hey! There's a good weapon, all right. Brand and always advocating fratricide. Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Um, do I want to get this online? Dual laser, heavy laser, okay. This is better. We can hack shields and then do this. Oh, kill your friend, please, because I keep saying that, okay. <laughs> I have said that a lot today. I say a lot of things when I play FTL that... I wouldn't recommend people saying in real life. Uh, but surely you all know that I'm jesting. Surely. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm hoping now with all with all these extra weapons, I could actually sell enough to get cloaking if it's available. Holy crap! Glade beam ion. This is terrifying. Oh my goo, okay, I need to hack. Okay, you know what? I need to actually let the ion just through the second time. Okay, or just dodge all of them, okay. Uh, okay. He hit my shields anyway, damn it. Oh, thank god! Whew, that was about to be two damage per shot right there. Okay, we freaking got there, that was... Just the last possible second there. Okay. And we even breached it. Oh man, that was close. Okay. And this guy is doging like a mofo. Look at these doges. Okay, you're just dead. Uh, crew kill, maybe. I would, I would have had to take some... Like, fires or something. Uh, um, we're not really trying for crew kill. If we got lucky for a crew kill, that's great. One, two, three, four. That'd be a dive. Okay. Well, we have stuff to sell, so we should be able to get a cloak. We should be able to get cloaking with the amount of stuff we have to sell now. If they have it. Yes! Okay, so... We sell these two and get cloaking, right? 
I don't even need to sell the small bomb. But if I do, I can get repair and fuel. How, how badly do I need repairs and fuel? Not too much. This would not be a bad weapon system for the boss. Keeping small bomb is not bad. I think we can hold on to the small bomb. My main issue is power and not enough dodge. We're only one below health I like to keep, so... I think, I think we can... I think we can handle this. This is going to take some extra micro to get power where I need it is the main issue I have with this build right now. But if I'm going to sell the small bomb later anyway, we could sell it now, but... I don't know that we're going to find another weapon. We have two other, two other sectors to find something to replace it, but... Phase one value of small bomb for crew kills, yeah. Only five power system for boss. Well, it just depends on what else we find, you know. We we might find zero other stores with weapons in them. It's always a possibility. That is four defensive drones, by the way. Holy crap. The doges. Okay. You did a five power weapon system boss once? I don't know what my lowest power weapon system I've ever killed the boss with is, but I've probably done five or less before, so. It was a glade beam and a heavy laser one. That was happened to you lately. You tried to not knee jerk sell weapons, just hoping for another weapon later. Yeah, it's you gotta. I don't think selling small bomb would have been too bad of a choice there. Especially if you got something else for it, like an upgrade to something, but if you don't need to, you don't always, you, sh you shouldn't always make that choice. Oh god, okay, these guys' weapons are strong, but it's fine. So are ours. My cloak is first flak here. That's hits, okay. Okay, can we doge? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I didn't hit our weapons, so I'll take it. I'll go for this to keep his shields down. Or kill him. You know, one of those two. I think your lowest weapon power kill the boss with is four. I honestly can't remember. I feel like we had a low power one, a low weapon power one on one of our Zoltan C runs, maybe? I just can't, just can't remember, honestly. Too many runs, not enough memory space so i could get third shield right now but my power situation is not looking amazing yeah double rewards gotta love it so since we're in a um a uh rock sector what i'm gonna do is get my power and dodge sorted first i think so power dodge power we can back up battery level 2 hacking and the max engines and we can cloak if I happen to not get the micro power in there in time. Zero weapon power. All drones. Can it be done? Um, we... I feel like we did that once. What did we find out? That like uh, one combat two and two combat ones was enough? I think we used hacking with that though. I think we did do that once, but we allowed hacking. Was it easy difficulty? I It might have been. I can't remember. It's a lot of RNG to just get the right number of drones. To get the right drones before the boss. But I think we actually did that once. I'd probably Google it. Google FTL drone only run because I probably named it that or something like that. Okay. Only six drone parts right now, too. Nope. We are relying on our drone parts. That was a good swipe we got there. 100% dodge. Good. Uh, 
Uh, easy mode was without hacking. Oh, was it? Uh, I kind of need fuel, honestly, and drone parts. Oh, I'm not gonna. We're not. We're not to that desperation point yet. I don't think. Oh, this could actually hit. Oh my God. 35% dodge is zero, I guess. Damn it. Oh, did Dapper Rich do the, uh, the link to one of those videos? Sorry, Dapper Rich. Remember, if you're not a mod... I mean, if you're not a sub, you gotta get permission to post links. Sorry, my friend. Bye, boy. Can you, can you sort that? Are you around? Thank you. Alright. Store. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, gosh, this is a, not a great layout. Nine jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. Go oh, up, down, and around. Up, over, down, and around here. That was the fight, though? Oh, was it a... Uh... Oh, that was the fight from that... That that run? Or something? Okay, we need to cloak this guy here. Oh god damn it, really? Well, I didn't cloak because I was trying to save it for the frickin' Flak 2 in an asteroid field, but I guess I chose the wrong thing to cloak. Could you stop boarding me? Oh good, he doesn't have any cloaking up. Got him. Okay. Uh, I think we only took two damage there. Could have been worse. Not the best fight though. That was two years ago? 2018, before Nietzsche's time. You need to go back through my archive. <laughs> we have... I mean, way back when, I was only uploading videos that were really... You know, I felt YouTube worthy. Unlike now, I just upload every single video, I, every every stream, all all streams, all the time. But yeah, like that was definitely one I felt was worth uploading way back then. A heavy laser, okay, that is better than a small bomb. So I will take that. I do need some repairs and fuel though, so I'm gonna get that going before we do other upgrades. So I need one more power. Next is third shield, I think. Or the what? Probably third shield. We need to get our defenses sorted. Our offense is... It's good. You're looking at your videos. The first one you clicked on was a Kestrel B flackening. Nice. I'm going to attempt to not use hacking here. Save some drone parts. I guess I could have bought some drone parts at the last fight, but... Perfect. Get doged on, bro. Nah, uh, nope. Maybe if that was eight drum parts, I'd take you up on that deal. But eight missiles? Pfft, no thanks. You actually hacked Pilot 2 on that one, huh? Nice. Double heavy laser one, such a good time. If it hits, it definitely is. If it hits, absolutely. Uh, but we can't guarantee that every fight's only gonna have two shields and, uh... Piloting ha uh, my control will actually do that much. Well, that makes me feel good. Let's get the shields. Be a beautiful. Give me damn shields. All right, now I really do feel good about this. Third shields, cloaking, hacking, mind control. This is the time, every time I get to the run, if I have weapons that are good enough and I have this system set up, then I'm feeling good. I think I'm going to go for that again, actually. We only need to cloak that thing, so... No doges, man. 
Nice. This might actually, I might actually get his cloaking off before it goes off a second time. Get wrecked, man. Nice. Saving drone parts, still killing our enemies. Feels good. Feels good, man. Frickin' heavy lasers, man. You find the lack of flak disturbing. You and me both. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta make it through life without a flak. I know, I don't like that kind of life either, but sometimes. Yeah, now it's just the accumulation of scrap for the boss murder, yeah. Okay, this... We're definitely gonna hack. Weapons aren't super scary, but because we're in... A nebula... Still gonna keep these weapons up, though. Now you got no shields, bro. Yo, dog, you got no shields! What you gonna do with no shields, huh? Nothing. Die. We don't give a flak today. <laughs> well, FTL did give us some flaks earlier in the day. We even got a free flak in Sector 8 in our previous run, so... Can't blame FTL too much. It's given us some flax today. I need one more weapon power. Ooh, that's a store. What if there is a flak in the store? All right, we gotta check. We gotta check for flax. My flak trial, my free flak trial has expired. I mean, Heavy Laser 2 is great, but uh, getting it online anytime soon. These are all really good weapons. Heavy Laser 2 is an investment in our future, but if I do it now, I can't, can't get the pike beam online. FTL is all out of flax to give. <laughs> this is my all out of flax to give face. Mm -hmm. Um, Four heavy laser shots, though. I know. It's a bit of a bait, though, because we can just do this. And our weapons are just immediately stronger. Getting the, getting the heavy laser, too, is great, and I'd like to do it. We just don't have the scrap for it right now. This is immediate power. And I kind of, kind of really need a weapon upgrade, so. Wow, these advanced sensors have given us a couple blue options, man. Pretty nice. These engines are, what is, what? Why are his engines borked? Why are your engines borked, bro? Was that part of the event or something? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Of course, I never have level 3 sensors either, so... That is not something I'm used to seeing right there. Well, that's a free augment. I'll take it. Investing in swag sensors early. New game meta. <laughs> don't recommend it, but we've gotten some value out of it this run. Sadly, we didn't get the uh, Kazak out of it, though. I'm still sad about that, but it's been a pretty decent run out otherwise. Mantisaur Civilian. Um, again, we don't really need a store. We could go to Civilian and hope we get like a flak from somewhere. We have pretty good anti-boarding, honestly. Yes, F for Kazak. F respects for Kazak. This is not a bad weapon system for the boss. I'm gonna go... Mantis Bombers can be pretty scary, though. Let's go civilian. Let's go the safer route. And we get some free civilian stuff. Jenny and spiders we could do. Because of Clone Bay. Okay. Alright. Request to lead you to some free stuff. So if I go into one more nebula, we do get an extra jump. So one, two, three, four. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Go kill your friends, please. Oh yeah, more fratricide. Where are they? Are they in here again? Where are are they're just in here? Okay. They're just two dudes? Okay. Thanks for venting yourself. I appreciate that. How nice of you to vent yourself. Scoop a doop a doop a scoop a doop a doop a scoop doop doop scoop doop a doop scoop doop a doop. Welcome aboard, humans. Please report to venting room. Oh, okay. Oh, let me get to that venting room. Thank you, and have a nice venting day. That is a very well-trained human. Yes. 
It's nice when they just go ahead and vent themselves for you. All right, you have a big giant missile. Nice. I only have level two hacking though, which is just enough for this. Okay, cloak this. Very nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that was a 90, 45, 45, 92 scrap reward right there. Right before the store, right before double store. Hmm, double store. Do I need two stores? I don't need two stores, but if one of them has a flat going to both of them, it's probably worth. Smooth as butter, that's right. Who, baby? Somebody call for a flak? I did. All right. Now the question is, what do we, what do we get rid of for the flak? We should get disable hacking during cooldown. <sighs> Thing about getting rid of Pike is it's our only two power weapon. So for like, I mean, dual lasers, flak, double heavy lasers, pretty badass, honestly. It's really fast. Good for crew killing. Phase one. Uh, JPC, thank you for the 16 months, my friend. You get to join a rand run. That's right. A rand run where the flax finally showed up. Who said we don't get to have flax? We get to have flax. Well, see, there's not a flak over here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is super fast, which is what's awesome about it. Who boy. Okay. Heavy Laser 2 is probably the right choice, but the meme choice is another flak. I mean, if I got both of these, could I get both of them online? Who said he only get one flak? That's right. Whew, it's expensive, and that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be an eight power weapon system. Which, are we in Sector 7? This would be kind of tough to get all that. I think it's too greedy to go for both. What's up, Cruel Angel? You know what I really like? I really like Double Flak 1, Double Heavy Laser 1. Probably some people who would be aghast that I would actually sell Dual Laser, but I just, I really like this volley. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna skip out on the Heavy Laser 2 and say, we're boss ready, weapon wise. Now I just need to get power, power and system upgrades. We are looking strong, man. How do I feel about charge two? I don't love it. It's too slow to get the full value to get the full. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's too slow to get the full um, four shots. Was it 20 seconds for four shots? So the good weapons like flax and heavy lasers are ready so far ahead of it that I would say it's like decent with maybe like halberd beams, some other slow, high. Um, My uh, impact slower weapons. But I don't love it. It's not my favorite. It's pretty good though. It's good in a pinch. It's no flak one heavy laser one though. FTL, how dare chat not have faith in the flak? Sorry for doubting you, FTL. That's right. You should you should apologize. Apologize to F F Flak. Don't apologize to FTL. Apologize to the two flaks. Flax deserve more faith, chat. One plus one better than two for both flak and heavy laser. <laughs> I mean, the best would have been two flak ones, heavy laser one, heavy laser two. Just didn't quite have the monies to make that happen. That would have been absolute best. All right. Attempt to access the data with my sensors, huh? No, let's just attack. Why do that when I can attack, kill him, and take his stuff? Damn, he's got some doges.
Like some serious dojin, man. Whole lot of dojin going on. There we go. Good. Small bomb didn't hit us. <laughs> the other reason I like this weapon system in hard mode no pause, this is a aim this at the shields on the boss. Let it go. And I can worry about microwing other stuff. Hack their shields, fire, aim all, all these weapons at the shields, and then just ignore it while I can work on other micro stuff. I, this is a set it and forget it kind of auto fire setup. Didn't I want to see the map? Don't I get the map possibly anyway? One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's how you felt about the charge too as well. You weren't it wasn't you it wasn't ever beneficial to let it charge all the way up. There are times. But if you're at a place where you're having to wait for that to charge all the way up, you're probably taking damage while the enemy's faster weapons hit you first, so... The times when you have to let that charge all the way up are the times that you're probably behind. Heavy laser is faster than flak, though? Yes, but that's why... It's after the first volley that you do that. After you've hacked him the first time. Then you just leave them fired at the shields and I don't have to time them anymore and just let them kind of run. Alright, you're level 3 cloaking maniac. I'm gonna go... I'll go all in on... I don't even know what I should go all in on. Mm. Okay. These weapons are fast enough. I go for this. Mmm! Almost there. Because I had to wait for the hacking. Couldn't quite do it. Scoot doo ba doo doo doo. Scoot doo doo ba doo doo doo. Right, let's go all in on piloting maybe this time. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that worked. <laughs> You're dead. Nice. Double reward. 70 something scrap there. I am already near sector end to get much benefit from the map. Yeah, I mean the sensors, the, doing that sensor blue option avoids the fight. And I don't want to avoid fights. I want to take all the fights I can. So I think after the fight, you have the chance to get the, whatever the thing is guarding anyway. So you, we just want as many fights as possible. I thinking about going one, two, three, but exit beacon could be stuff, so. I'm not gonna dive. One power. Let's get doors and piloting here. And now we got got kind of the bare minimum of all our systems. Now we can look at getting fifth dodge and fourth shield, maybe. You've won before with basic lasers and a single flak. Never doubt the flak. Never doubt the flak. I was gonna say I've trained chat well, but I have a feeling that that's not just from my own experience. It's probably from your own from your experience as well. But I 100% agree, never ever doubt the flak. You doubt the flak at your own peril. What just happened? Damn it. Somehow, some way, my frickin' Uh what you call it went offline. My I think I think a damn asteroid hit my first. Hit my first, uh, hacking drone there. You're dead, sir. Yeah, I asteroid hit the damn drone. The way to a higher plane of FTL existence is hacking, flacking, and whacking. <laughs> and then you just release the Kraken. GG. Um, did I miss something with Scottish Pingu? Are you talking about work stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, you're talking about work stuff. And clacking, that's right. Hacking, flacking, and clacking. All the good stuff. Hacking, flacking, clacking. Scoop, doop, doop, doop. Why do I put Slug as pilot? Well, in this case, it's not needed so much, but Slug is immune to mind control. So in phase three of the boss, if you don't have the mind control counter, that keeps them from destroying your dodge by mind controlling the uh, pilot. Okay. All right, they just love giving me the ion stunners that I keep selling away. 
Okay, we don't need that. We're about to get free repair repairs here. All right, hopefully we get at least one of these repair stations. They're all around the base, which is a good and a bad thing. Good because possibly get repaired after a phase of the boss. Bad because they're so far away you might not even get access to one. Cloak this. Means we probably take the big missile. Hope I can dodge it. That's a good dodge. Don't have a dodge for this one. Good dodge. Get doge done, bro. Why do you have a sluggish pilot? He dodges all the things. Don't have enough time to come with the freaking FTL. All right, let's get fifth dodge next. And then fourth shield is the last thing we're really looking for apart from value points. If we can make that happen, that'd be awesome. FTL's like, we thought you were going for an ion build, bro. Here's your, uh, here's your ion you left behind. This guy's shields are about to get so destroyed. Not even at no what hit him. No shields for you, my friend. Still, this... Such a fast-firing missile. No surrender. Hey, man, we have dodged... All all missiles that we haven't cloaked so far this sector. That's amazing. <laughs> we need a not enough time command. That's right. Nope, I'll go to at least one repair station. Well, that's my plan. I need to, there's nothing else, the drone parts. All right, yeah. See, like I said, this was a repair, and I think this was a repair, maybe. So let's make sure we get this one. Do, 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 scoop, do, do. Man, I'm trying to decide if I'm up for one more run after this one. I didn't want to go late today. These runs have been so fast, though, that I feel like I could really do one more. Oh, that was too early, damn it. Oh, that's a breach missile. Ow. Ouch, man, just ouch. It's just so early for me to end that I probably have to do one more. If I do one more run, I'll go a little late. I guess I can probably handle a little late. So we'll do one more probably. Please don't be taken over. All right, we did get one repair station. Thank goodness. Praise R and Jesus. Make that a command. The fleet is still no... <laughs> uh, okay, I'll... Click on it to maybe do that later. I don't like to make commands in the middle of the stream, but there we go. I'll have to look at it to see. Gotta head to work, Dapper Rich. Right, have a great night, my friend. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. So I could get four seal right now, but I wouldn't have the power for it. Depending on how much scrap we get right here. At least we got the drone parts from the uh, repair station. Slug pilot doesn't have a counter to missiles in his face. This is true. You're not wrong. And I'm not gonna do that quote from uh, the Big Lebowski that I did that one time that I feel really bad about after saying that, so. Damn it. Double reward I think was a free repair there. Now you need to make a mod where Rand is the fleet. Okay. I am the Senate! So if I do this, I get one power, and I'll be one power short of where I, where I want to be. But I will have fourth shield. I think that's worth. I think that is worth. So we do that, we can move the Microsoft power around as needed. Do this to start the fight, and then move it over there once we... Uh, um, get through his shields. Okay. Just a viewership where the image is the fleet and it shoots ASBs. <laughs> that would be interesting. 
All right, you hack my weapons. You hack my shields. That's the second worst. I think I can maybe live with that, though. And you're not dead. Had some pretty good doges. No cloaking for you. Perfect. Now we can auto fire here. There goes my shields. And for some reason, one power is gone because this game's dumb. I don't know why I took one power out of there. All right. One damage phase one. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Rand's head for every fight and viewership's attack mod. <laughs> uh, how many mods have Math Champ made now? He's a machine. He's made a pretty crazy amount of mods, that's for sure. And almost every single one is trying to troll me, but... When he adds things like flat crew, I can't get too mad because that's just right up my alley. Okay, that guy's not dead. My control. Cannot cloak this. You, I have no O2. Cloak this. And their doges are just too good. I need to get a crew kill here. One more. Nice! There it is. I accept another apparently double missile for that. But we got two more crew kills, which is very helpful. So I'd say that was a worthwhile trade. Like two damage to get two more crew kills. Definitely worth. Uh, we got no power. We got no O2 right now, though, which is a little scary. Go, come on, Lombard. Repair, repair like the wind. And I still haven't, I still didn't do silly device. Poor silly device. It's just going around with the wrong name this entire run. What is wrong with me? This entire run. I know, it's fine. I have clone babe still. Nothing can stop me from whining and being scared of things in FTL. Scared of punishment. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing can stop me. This custom shift is a fine balance between trolling Rand but still getting him to play the mods. It is a fine... It's a very fine line. Math Champ rides that line. Rides that line. All right, so do I get value point or do I get the power? Let's get the power and hope that we'll have enough repairs. Okay. You like the Rebel flagship idea? Thank you for venting yourselves. Welcome to the ship, humans. Prepare for venting. Mm, stop hitting my piloting and I have no cloaking that's that's really bad I have no cloaking uh we're gonna jump away that was about to snowball a bit I probably could have handled it but better safe than dead Better safe than dead. You'll have nobody else to board with next, so... Somehow, there ended up with a mind control person in my piloting, even though I have a mind control immune person. I think whoever was repairing got mind controlled in there. Imagine that was OP ship that would spawn another 10 crew now, Kappa. Yeah. Imagine me not playing your mod because you keep reminding me about how punishing it is, and you think that's funny for some reason. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> No more borders left. Okay. If we could get through his ult and shield really fast, that would be great. And if his missiles could not totally just one-shot my cloaking, that would be amazing. I think that's what happened. I think a missile just, just killed my cloaking. Okay, that's fine. I am so slow on all this. 
Too much micro. Okay, that's out. Okay. <laughs> I killed his crew already. I did not mean to do that. Alright, it's fine. Got no piloting. That's GG. GG, cookie time. Three in a row, Kestrel C. Alright. Alright. What's that score? That felt like a pretty darn good run, honestly. I killed his crew last jump. Kappa. <laughs> yeah, sure. 55-77. Not a bad score. Not a bad score. 46 ships defeated. 98 beacons explored. 18-18 scrap collected. I'm a little leery of trying to do get one more run in this time. Because last time I did that was Zoltan B. Last week I got three wins. It went really well. I was like, oh, our timing is looking good. I can get one more run in. And then that's when I lost the streak. I'm a little leery of doing it. I'll go late, and if I'm not playing well, I'm afraid I'm going to just tank my streak by doing this. What do you all think? Can I do a Mantis B run? No, I'm not doing that. If I play a run, I'm going to do a Arbo no, no Pause run. I'm not going to do a, a random other ship run. Because I've gone... In the last... In the previous two days, I've had 16 hours of streaming about. So... Uh, gosh. All right. I'm probably going to do one more, one more attempt. You're going to call it a night pipe, uh, Scottish Pingu? Okay. You want, you don't want to see your ship that much, pie boy? Can I, okay, stop a run if I am not feeling a well about it. No, I'm not, I'm not going to stop in the middle and go, oh, well, this one's bad. Streak ends. My last two days have been really, really long days is the thing. So that's why I'm trying to decide. All right, I'm gonna do one more run. I am. Um, I just hope I don't get punished and lose a streak. So let's. We're at three in a row. Let me take a really quick, fast restroom break. So if nothing else, I'm not like doing the pee pee dance or something. So quick, sixty second words. That word of that. I'm Sam Stress. You restroom. We'll do one more run. Hope we get a win and hopefully don't get wrecked. So y'all rock. Hope you enjoy these ads. <laughs> I'll be back in just a sec, my friends. <laughs> 